what's up guys, this is Goldmine, and welcome to another video. Today I have a top 5 recording softwares for YouTube. The reason why I'm making this video is, well, to obviously show you guys the best 5 recording softwares that you can use for YouTube. This video was inspired by you guys. You guys have asked me a lot about what I use to record. Well, what I have may be too expensive for you, so that's why I want to make this video to give you some other options that are just as good to start out with. Starting at number 5, we all know about Fraps. Good old Fraps. Fraps is actually one of the first softwares that I ever used to start recording on my YouTube channel. The reason why I put this in the number 5 slot is because Fraps is extremely easy to use. It's not a heavy hitter on your computer if you don't have a very good computer and the quality is pretty decent and it also gives you an FPS counter while you're in game and there's an option you can change to where you can still see the FPS counter but it won't show up in your recording the main issues that I have with the software is one it costs money but it is extremely easy to pirate and no that does not mean I'm telling you to pirate this you're forced to use the shitty codex that fraps provides and if you don't know what a codex is it's a device or program that compresses data to enable faster transmission and compresses received data. If you don't have a good codec, the quality of your video can look shit. And the main issue that I had with Fraps is a lot of games nowadays doesn't support the codecs that Fraps offers. Taking the number four spot is DxTory. DxTory is another well-known recording software. Again, the first downside is that it does cost money, but again, this is another software that is extremely easy to pirate. And the thing that I like about DxTory is it has everything that Fraps has to offer, but when it comes to options, there are so many more options. It is a little more complicated, but again, with every software, there is a tutorial out there that shows you how to set it up. But the main reason why I picked DxToy to be on the number four slot is because the quality is so much better when it comes to recording. You have so many more options to fiddle through to increase the quality of your content. And the thing that really took the cake for me is that you can install custom codexes into DxToy and use them instead of having the shitty one that is the default that Fraps offers. And again, just like Fraps, it's not a heavy hitter on your computer. And if for some reason you have a bad computer, you can change your recording quality so it still looks good, but you can also run the game at a decent FPS. Taking the number three spot is Camtasia Studios. This is the one software that I have personally not used, but a lot of my fellow YouTube friends have used or are still using Camtasia today. From what I've seen, I think Camtasia is really good. It's like an all-in-one bundle. Again, the main downside side it does cost money just like the other two softwares it is extremely easy to pirate and no i do not support pirating camtasia's quality when it comes to recording is pretty decent again i don't have too much to say when it comes to that because i've never personally used it but the main reason why it is taking the number three spot this is a really good software for people who are just now getting into youtube not only does it record but it has a built-in video editor it's fairly simple to learn and simple editing is made really easy with this software taking the number two spot the avermedia rec central software now this is where things can be a little sticky i would have put it as the number one spot but i just want to say this right away the software worked great when i had windows 7 installed on my computer it was everything i ever wanted but when i upgraded to windows 10 i don't know if i'm the only one that's having this issue or if other people have the same issue as me but now that i've upgraded to windows 10 i can no longer use the software properly and what i mean by that is i actually can't record on the software at all every time i try to go to the actual recording part of the software it attempts to locate and access my capture card the avermedia live gamer hd it just crashes and i could understand the issue because on the website at the time the software wasn't updated to be compatible with windows 10 but a couple months went past and i saw on their website that they had a new update for the software and it states that it is now compatible with windows 10 so i installed the new update and i got the exact same issue i've tried everything and the same result happens and do take note that the software is free but you do have to purchase one of the capture cards from Avermedia to actually use the software. I can actually still record through OBS if I connect my Avermedia Live Gamer HD capture card, which is doable, but if I can't properly use what was given to me, either it being an issue on their part or it being some weird issue on my part, I can't have it as the number one spot. Coming in at the number one spot, OBS Studios. This is the current software that I use to record and live stream all of my 
my gameplay on. If you guys haven't watched my video, basically showing you the ins and outs of OBS Studios, I recommend you check it out. The reason why I put OBS Studios as the number one, as the best recording software for YouTube in 2016, is because one, it's free, two, it's extremely configurable. The only downside that I see to this is that it's not very user friendly, but again, if you have trouble setting it up, you can check out my video here. There's also a link in the video description. One major thing that OBS Studios dominated that OBS, the original software, couldn't do is the option to have different settings from your recording and live streaming settings. And what I mean by that is my personal settings, I stream in 720p 60fps, but I record in 1080p 60 fps i want to get the best quality possible for my videos but 720p 60 fps is perfectly fine when you're live streaming on twitch or youtube if you guys are interested in any of these softwares all the links will be in the description i want to know your guys' thoughts on these softwares put your top five recording softwares this is my own personal opinion and i want to hear yours do you guys agree with mine or was there a software that i completely missed that you guys think should be in the top five if you guys did enjoy the video please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. This is Goldmine, and I'm out.